morning guys happy sunday today's sunday it is flea market day and we do have things we're looking for so we're gonna go it's pcc market today pasadena city college very close to the rose bowl you know like proximity wise but this one's free to get in it's really good and it's a beautiful day it's half kind of inside half outside inside meaning like a parking garage which makes it really nice so i'm not gonna wear my cap today because it kind of didn't go with my outfit you guys 30 weeks 30 weeks look at the bump i can't believe it i can't believe it he's growing a ton that's all he's gonna do now is grow and gain weight and cuteness and fatness and uh yeah so 30 weeks we have our ultrasound coming up I can't wait to see him again. It's like I just want to see his little cute face. The things that we're looking for are things for the kitchen, hardware, corbels, like I want some decorative pieces, lighting because I don't know if our lighting is going to work, so we're keeping our eyes peeled. Door hardware, door not hot. Mm. Looking for something specific, you know me. It's hard to find things when I want them. I tend to design things in my head and then it doesn't actually exist. <laughs> And this has been my problem my whole life. Um, but we're gonna look. Well, think, I think there's one more thing that I'm looking for for sure, but mostly kitchen things. So Romeo's already ready. We're gonna head out and see what we can find. Did I park bad? Kind of. I just have a big car. It's not my parking. It is packed today. We are in the parking lot on the top floor. <laughs> it's packed. It's like a lot of people here. It is really good weather, so it makes sense. Guys, I already got something. I got a plein air easel and I'm so excited about it. It's it's an older one. I got it for forty dollars. I have a photo shoot coming up that I needed one for. I was gonna use my easel that I have at the house, but this one's so much better because it has like the drawers and things. So really excited. I told Romeo this is such a cool coffee table for his room, but it's still, like just too big, but that's like the perfect style that like Vintage, rustic, but a little bit chunky and manly. These frames are absolutely gorgeous. Like, that is so pretty. In good condition, too.
sit down in the in the sunshine it was so cold in the, the concrete garage that lady had the best booth but she's all the way back in the corner like i almost didn't even go that far like it was literally the last booth that i would have seen but i don't think she's from here i think she's um, gonna ship her stuff back over her we have one more section of the flea market left which is like a little it's in the sun because i can't go back in that garage it's in the, across the little like side street I haven't normally found anything there, but you never know. But I've only seen two booths with lighting and like three lights total. And those are not what I'm looking for. No core booths. Haven't seen anything architectural salvage wise. Kind of striking out, but I did buy two things. It is officially yard sale season. We passed the yard sale. I'm so excited. I see books. I see the wood. guys it's the next day and i saved myself the embarrassment this is mafia saved myself the embarrassment at the flea market by not attempting to put that easel together <laughs> i have done it before my mom has one we've got it at a thrift store and it really is to like pack up and go and paint outdoors which in french that's in plain air i'm not pronouncing that right but that's essentially what it's called and I want one. I have an upcoming photo shoot for a new candle scent that we're launching. And I was gonna just use the easel that I have, but when I saw that one and it was older and it had paint on it already, I was like, and it had brushes in it. I was kind of like, this is perfect. So I wanna try and put it together now. And also so I got one other thing from there too. So I was gonna give you a little mini haul. I did not get anything from the yard sale. They were like priced like they should have had a booth at the flea market, like it was like, some of those books they, some of those books were like first edition and they were like a hundred dollars or more so i was like maybe, maybe not <laughs> but not that they're not valuable for for sure okay let's see if we can we can do this oh this does not look as bad as i thought it was going to romeo made it seem like it was like in really bad shape romeo has a big um event coming up and he wants to use this rug that we found at a estate sale in texas we actually brought it back with us and he wants to clean it so we have like a seam cleaner and stuff so we're gonna try ourselves it wasn't very expensive it's not like worth like going to have cleaned or anything but we're gonna let it dry in the sun and things the guy that i got it from said he had opened it and it folded out really well so i kind of trusted him on it and it's just like i know it's got a lot of like moving parts kind of thing See, this is what I was doing at the flea market. I was like, um, I feel like pressure to try and figure this out. I think it like swivels, but like, where's the first swizzle? swivel? Okay, this goes out. Oh, <laughs> it goes in and out. So many things 
you have to do? So I got that, and I also got this little frame. Someone's doing their yard right now. Love little frames, especially when they have like good molding, a good mat, it had like a velvet mat with a gold inlay. Really pretty. This is a two and a half by five inch frame. I like them unusual too, like unusually sized. I thought that was, so cute. I did pay a little more than I normally have paid in the past, but I feel like my mom and I were talking about it and it's getting harder and harder to find pretty frames. <laughs> I don't know if we've bought them all up or we've made them more popular or they're just more popular in general or they're harder to come by, a combination of it all. Not, tr not sure, but she had this one marked 25 and I asked her if she'd take 20 for it. She said yes, so I was like, cool that's so cute that's all i got at the flea market nothing at the yard sale really i didn't see anything for the kitchen not very much lighting but pcc the difference between like rose bowl and pcc if you're going to go to pasadena rose bowl will have a lot more furniture but it will be majority mid-century modern since that's really popular out here and that's just kind of like what the market is known for, like furniture wise, but PCC won't have any furniture really. There's a couple of vendors and I've even talked to some of the vendors there and they say that they have furniture, they just don't bring it to PCC because it doesn't move, which makes sense. So each market has their own kind of things and qualities that you, know, you kind of go for, but the booths were packed. They had a lot of good stuff. And I mean, I was like really, and, and there was tons of people. So I was like, I was like really like right. excited about it. Are you coming so we can do this? Bring the, the carpet solution. We've only used this thing once. Really? Yeah. When, when, when did you use it? Uh, on the rugs at the apartment. It's definitely cleaning it. You can see before, after. Before, after. <gasps> That's wild. It's satisfying, huh? It is satisfying. Did you look at the water, how dirty it was? Huh? Did you see how dirty the water was? Yeah, like look how dirty it was. Oh, that's disgusting. You know, when we got it from the estate sale, we didn't actually ever clean it either. Well, it was clean though. 
it was yeah it was more vibrant like this so yeah. it definitely got dirty with you using it at the markets which is inevitable yeah well, we didn't even put it in the house we just no, so it we wasn't, yeah it wasn't ever for like our home or so anything. i just used it straight for the market that's so satisfying you know when those tiktoks come up of them like cleaning carpets mm -hmm. that's the satisfaction i just got okay let's go eat and then we can do it the other way and okay. then we'll put it in the sun up off the ground okay. and then it'll pass air it'll dry it won't yeah oh perfect yeah the bottom's not bad oh my god i was trying to steal your chickens okay guys we made it back i think it's starting to get to us that there's so much stuff in this room because we're renovating it's like it's like starting to like gnaw away at our like OCD and stuff. But I feel like both Romeo and I are working on so many projects right now. Like I'm doing, like, we got photo shoots happening in the corner. We've got racks of clothes. We have so much happening like in the next week or so that it's it's a lot. Like, you know, like, like we have like a lot like happening. So we're like doing like little projects and like prepping for like things that are coming up. So it's, but it's, I think it's starting to get to us. We're like, oh my gosh, there's literally a little kitchen in the living room and a photo shoot area and a whole clothing store. <laughs> it's like, oh, chaos, chaos. Kitchen's coming along really, really well. We're just waiting, we're getting some things in that are custom, so. Uh, you guys will see a new video this Sunday, which is really exciting. There's a couple of things that I need to happen this week to like add to that video. So it's like perfect timing. Everything's going like really smooth. I got all of the rest of the stuff for the baby's list. Like the baby, like I, the list I had for the baby, like ordered what I couldn't find like in store. Uh, so I ordered the camera, I ordered the Nanette camera. Nanette, they said when we were shopping at a couple of places, they said that everyone really liked this one. Not many people used the whole kind of like the, the the pad that goes on the baby to like monitor sleep. Like it does a lot, but like some people did use it. Some people didn't. It also like gauges like temperature in the room. It does like a lot of stuff. But what I liked about it is, and I didn't get any of the big stands or anything. What I liked is that we're gonna have the baby in our room for like at least probably six months or so. We're gonna play it by ear, but downstairs and then move him upstairs. Well, I wanna be able to easily move the camera. So I don't wanna attach it to the wall or anything. So I got the Nanette Pro camera with flex stand that sits, but also I saw on Amazon that they sell an adapter that's like a clamp. So I can clamp it on the side of the bassinet or I can clamp it anywhere I want for like 20 bucks or something. Uh, so I got this, this partic particular one for that. I was just gonna use my own sound machine cause I have one already, but it, it doesn't do like, all the baby stuff but it's i think it would work for us so i wasn't gonna get like a shusher and pay a lot of money but if you bought the camera you got a free one got a free one directly from them i didn't get it on like any other website so it's sound and light and i figured when we moved him upstairs it would be good to have like we have obviously have the moon is a night light but it would be good to have like the night light oh also it has a rechargeable battery so you don't have to leave it plugged in like you can take it on the go both of these things i was like we could take on the go i don't know where i'm going i don't plan on going anywhere <laughs> but you never know you'd be prepared like the flexibility of it all i got this little caddy um diaper caddy for down here so we're gonna turn, we thought about getting like another cabinet down here for like a changing table. And the more we thought about it, the less and less inclined we were to do it. Like I, I'd just rather use the top of our dresser in our bedroom and just like put like a plastic thing down or like, you know, like put like something protective over the dresser part of it because it is raw, raw, raw wood. And then, you know, like obviously the changing pad and stuff, like we'll, we'll figure that out. But I needed like a little carrier for like an extra set of stuff that wasn't upstairs. So diapers, you know, all the, all the things, the, the list of things. So I got this one, I got it on Amazon. I thought it was super cute. And I also got, um, Fuji film for to have. I love to shoot like on film and stuff. I also got me a wrap, 
like a, a cozy wrap. This is the only color I liked really. They had a lot of colors and patterns, but I tested it out, but it didn't really work on me because my baby bump's so, so big. This one because I, I really want him to be close at times. I got some pee pee teepees. Pee pee -tee little boys, you know. I got some other cute like, like fun stuff that, that I needed. We are getting there. We are 30 weeks. We have our uh, ultrasound this this week. Our 30 week, uh, my 30 week anatomy scan, which is really exciting because I can't wait to see him again. So we're gonna go do that. And I also have been doing so much computer work. So I haven't been doing like <laughs> really anything exciting. It was nice to get out of the house and just like get away from the computer for a little bit to go to the flea market. I have a ton of computer work to do today and I have to do a photo shoot. There's so many exciting things coming up. So definitely uh, stay tuned. So I'll see you guys in the next vlog on Thursday and then I get on Sunday for the next episode, episode three of the kitchen renovation. So make sure you're caught up on episode one and two. So you know what's going on, where we're at, what's happening. Bye guys.